Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah It's important for us as mu'mineen, as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have righteous companions and to do our best to be around people who are good and offer us good. People who, when you are in their company, that you feel your iman strengthened and they encourage you to do good. Not people who drain you and take from you. And when you are in their presence, you feel drained and dirty. And when they leave you, you feel either relieved because their harm left you or that you feel that they left you with something bad as if they left a stain on your clothing. So you want to be around the people of Khair. And Imam An-Nawi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he entitled in his book Riyadh Salihin, Bab Ziyarat Ahl Al-Khair Mujalisatihim. The chapter of visiting the people of good and sitting with them. And he mentioned in this chapter many ahadith and verses of the Quran which show us the importance of having good companionship and good company. And that good company leaves you with good and bad company only drains and takes from you and can distract you and detract you from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So be careful who you take as companions. When Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal innama mithl al-jaleese al-salih wa jaleese al-su كهامل المسك ونافخ الكير فهامل المسك إما يحذيك وإما أن تبتاع منه وإما أن تجد منه ريح طيبة ونافخ الخير إما أن يحرك ثيابك وإما أن تجد منه ريح منتنة Mutafikun alayhi. This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. The hadith of Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that verily the example of righteous uh, uh, a righteous sitting or a righteous gathering and an evil or wicked or detestable gathering is similar to the one who carries misk which is a type of perfume especially the natural pure misk which is very uh, expensive and very valuable and highly valued and so this is the example of the one who carries misk or who has misk and the one who like an iron worker who works with iron who blows who uh, you know blows on the fire in order to cool the iron or it's a part of the process for iron processing to make uh, iron the one who Carry, the one who has the misk either will give you some or he will sell you some. And that you will find from him or what you'll gain from him is a beautiful smell. And the one who is like the one who works with uh, iron, the iron worker, that either he will burn your clothing or you will gain from him 
a vile smell. And this is, this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave the example of the various two companions that a person can have. And this example was from his excellence in teaching, of making an example that was that the companions ajma'in and the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam could picture something that was tangible, something that they an example that they could relate to or that they could at least envision. This is from the Husna Asleeb of Ta'lim of the Messenger of Allah, Asalib of the Ta'lim of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is in order to gain the attention of the, the listener. Another, exa uh, another benefit of this hadith is it shows us the impermissibility of having wicked companionship from the people of evil, the people who do evil deeds, who encourage you to do wickedness in this life, which has an effect on the hereafter, that they bring you no good. An example of this would be the person who backbites. They may be even a, a Muslim, but every time you gather with them, they only backbite people. They only give you the new tales about so-and-so or so-and-so. And they spread wickedness throughout the community, like Namima and Ghiba. So they backbite and they slander people. This is the example of the wicked companion, a companion that you gain no benefit from. That the only benefit is if you can give them some guidance through righteous words by encouraging them to leave off the wicked speech or the wicked actions. So that's the example of someone who encourages you to shar. And this hadith illustrates for us that we have to avoid those people. This hadith also encourages us, which is the opposite, this is another benefit of this hadith, is it encourages us to take righteous companions. And that the Prophet Wasallam made an example that the righteous companion is like the one who sells uh, perfume or sells oils, things that smell good and leave a good effect upon you and a good smell with you. And that this is something that is desirable. And think about when you are around righteous people. They remind you of Allah. They remind you of good deeds. And they don't bring harm to you. Even if you find someone who is maybe not that strong in their religion, or perhaps it can be at times even from a non-Muslim that they remind you about Allah. And they remind you of something good. And they remind you of a good deed. So the shahid, the point is, is to be, about, be around those people who are righteous, those people who bring good, those people who encourage you to goodness and those people who remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.